Bitham lets customers open bank accounts via its app. Crypto Exchange, South Korea, South Korean Crypto Exchange hopes its move will help it win over more new customers. Last updated August 12th, 2024 at 1430 GMT3. Author Tim Alper, author Tim Alper, author profile share. Copied. Last updated August 12th, 2024 at 1430 GMT3. Why trust CryptoNovius with over a decade of crypto coverage? CryptoNovius delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Crypto News a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Crypto News. The South Korean crypto exchange Bitham will let customers open Nandia bank accounts via its mobile app. The move could be game-changing for the exchange. Customers previously had to visit bank branches in person to sign up for real-name bank accounts before opening wallets on the Bitham platform. Bitham enables bank account opening, a game-changing move. News One reported that on August 12th, the exchange announced customers could start opening Nongyup NH bank accounts for crypto trading via the exchange app and the mobile version of its website. South Korean law stipulates that crypto exchanges must use real name verified wallet linked accounts if they want to offer their customers fiat trading options. Our customers thus had to download bank apps separately or visit bank branches in person if they wanted to open crypto accounts on Bitham. Instead, customers can now choose a link KRW account option on the Bitham platform and open a non-face-to-face bank account. Um, Moon Sion Il, Bitham's general manager of services, was quoted as saying, launching this non-face-to-face deposit withdrawal account opening service lets us provide users with a more convenient environment for trading crypto assets. Up it rivalry continues. Bitham will hope the move helps it gain ground on its fiercest competitor. The trading platform Upbit, thanks to its own partnership with the Neobank K-Bank, Upbit was able to corner over 80% of the domestic crypto trading market in South Korea. This dominance began during the coronavirus pandemic, a time when the government promoted non-face-to-face IT solutions. Bitham has since attempted to cut into Upbit's market share by temporarily doing away with commission fees on transactions. The exchange's strategy saw it briefly surpass Upbit trading figures. It has since restored commission fees. In July, the exchange was forced to make a U-turn on plans to increase its deposit usage fee rate to 4%. Earlier this month, South Korean regulators said they were investigating a trader's suspected attempt to manipulate the price of the altcoin avail on Bitham's platform. Meanwhile, media outlets say Nang Gya, Bitham's long-term banking partner, remains keen on using NFTs to power its future business expansion. Domestic banks are reportedly still keen on NFTs, even though two of South Korea's biggest tech firms have recently shuttered their NFT arms. Follow us on Google News.